Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Evan Schneider. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about how to color grade C-Log footage. My LUT pack actually includes eight conversion LUTs with varying contrast levels, white balance, different adjustments like that. It also includes 25 creative looks that are built into the conversion LUT. So these are different kind of film emulations and creative looks and different styles that I've developed over the years as a professional colorist. And then it also gives you eight pre-LUTs, which are basically LUTs that you apply before the conversion LUT that mimic in-camera settings. So these are things like exposure adjustments, plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two stops. Also a warm version, a cool version, a version that gives you a bit wider dynamic range. So in total, there's 41 LUTs for each camera profile. They work with Canon Log, Canon Log 3, in Canon Cinema Gamut and BT709, and then also Canon Log 2 and Canon Cinema Gamut. And there's two separate LUT packs. So there's one for Canon Log 2, and then there's one for Canon Log and Canon Log 3. My goal with these LUTs was to give you a natural starting point on which to start your color grade and to give you kind of a tool set to use for your Canon log footage that'll give you more flexibility and save you time in the color grading process, all while making it extremely easy to color grade your footage make it look nice. So we're here in Premiere Pro and I have a bunch of clips set up and I'm going to go down to my creative look. I've already installed the LUTs into the Premiere folder and I'm going to go to the LUTs that match what I shot. So this was shot in C-Log2 Canon Cinema Gamut and we're converting it to Rec. 709 and this is just the basic conversion LUT. We're gonna click that and you can see that automatically the footage has been transformed to our display color space and it looks like it properly should. Now, whenever you're grading log footage, you wanna make sure that your basic adjustments are happening before your conversion LUT is applied. So once we have this applied, now we can go into the basic corrections and I can adjust things like exposure. You can see that as I adjust it, it looks nice and proper. And we can increase the temperature, maybe bring back some highlight detail, make it a little bit darker. And so you can see these are my basic adjustments. This is before and this is after. And then this is my creative look. This is just the base conversion LUT. That's before and that's after. In two really easy steps, we've converted the C-Log2 Canon Cinema Gamut footage to Rec. 709 and applied some basic corrections. If your entire sequence contains all of the same type of footage, like say your entire sequence is in C-Log2 or C-Log3, what you can do is actually go and make an adjustment layer. And I can just put the adjustment layer over top of the entire sequence. And then on the adjustment layer, I can apply my creative look. So let's see, let's try one of the creative looks, maybe um, Chrome, C-Log2, Canon Cinema Gamut to Chrome. We apply that. And so now all of these clips that were shot in C-Log2 are converted to Rec. 709 in one step. The next step that I can take is I can go through each of these clips on the bottom and I can do the same basic adjustments. And this is also according to the proper workflow where we have the basic adjustments happening before the conversion LUT. It's a pretty similar workflow in DaVinci Resolve. And so now we're just going to create a simple two node structure on our clips. Our first node is going to be for basic adjustments. So I'll call this um, primaries. And then this node is going to be called LUT. And we're going to apply our LUT on the second node and right here I have my C-Log2 LUTs already loaded. We're going to go back to the conversion and I'm just going to apply the base LUT right here. And then here in my primaries, I can use either the offset wheel or I can go into my HDR wheels. Any adjustments here I make will mimic the in-camera settings. So I can just bring down the exposure. Maybe I wanna warm it up a little bit maybe decrease the contrast a little bit. There we go. So now in two easy steps, we've done our primary adjustment and we have our LUT doing the conversion. If I wanna try out another look, I can always go to my LUT node and I can just go back to maybe the creative looks and let's try Creative Sensei. I really like this one. Now it might take a little bit more adjusting from here. Maybe I can cool it down a little bit. 
and decrease the saturation a little bit. That's looking pretty good. And that's how easy it is to use the LUTs in DaVinci Resolve as well. A common question is if you want to adjust the intensity of one of the LUTs or the creative looks, how do you adjust the intensity? So I do not recommend adjusting the intensity of the actual LUT because the LUT is converting from a color space to another color space. And if you adjust the intensity, you're going to get less accurate results. Say I apply the Sensei LUT to this and I'm feeling like it's a little overpowering. The easiest way to adjust the intensity is to just make an adjustment before the conversion LUT. So I'm gonna hit Shift S, make a new node. And on this node, I can go to my contrast and I can just bring down the contrast. And that's going to bring down basically the intensity of the curve that the LUT is applying. If I wanna make further adjustments to what the LUT is doing, I can go after the conversion and I can kind of, you know, adjust the footage from there. And so that's kind of how you can offset and balance without adjusting the intensity of the actual LUT. Same thing in Premiere Pro. Say I don't want that much contrast in the shadows. I can always go to my contrast slider and just decrease the contrast before the LUT. So you want to make sure that your LUT is always at 100% and then go ahead and do basic adjustments before to shift the look and offset it if it's giving too much of a look. This shot here was shot in C-Log3 Canon Cinema Gamut. So I'm just going to go to my creative look. I'm gonna go down to LC C-Log3 Canon Cinema Gamut. And I'm just gonna go through and try out some different creative looks. One of my favorites is Chrome, which gives a really nice feel. And then I can adjust things like saturation, white balance, exposure, maybe bring the exposure up a little bit. So that one's looking pretty nice. This one is pretty cool. If you like it, you can just click it. That's a more serious tone, a cold tone. Um, I also really love Lectar is really nice. Kind of a warm look. Um, there's also just a simple one called Highlight Boost, which basically just boosts the highlights and makes a little more contrast compared to the base LUT. Very nice is just a little bit brighter. So you can see how much flexibility it gives you um, in terms of your creative look. Um, this one is really nice. We can bring up the exposure, maybe reset the saturation. We can also just go back to the C-Log3 regular look. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and options in terms of how you want to color grade the footage. If you're wondering which log profile to shoot with on your Canon camera, the first thing I would recommend is checking out what the options are on your camera. I think the pinnacle, the best Canon log profile is definitely C-Log2 Canon Cinema Gamut. That'll give you the most professional look, the most flexibility in post, and that's kind of what they put on their flagship cameras. The next profile I would recommend is C-Log3 Canon Cinema Gamut. And I recommend shooting always in Canon Cinema Gamut because one, it's the only color space that is supported by color management in Premiere Pro and Resolve. It's also worth it to record in a larger color space if you're using LUTs or um, color management to convert the footage. You might as well shoot in the bigger color space to give you more flexibility in post. If you're shooting on one of the older cameras and it has Canon log and only BT709, that profile is still supported in the Canon log and Canon log 3 LUT pack, um, which has LUTs for Canon log BT709 to Rec709. Whether you're shooting on one of the newest Canon cameras or one of the oldest, your camera is supported by one of these LUTs in the LUT pack. My goal with creating this LUT pack was to create a really easy tool set to use that blends the technical accuracy and color science aspect with a natural human touch. So these LUTs will give you a natural starting point that doesn't look too scientific, and especially with Canon that has overpowering reds, you'll be pleased to see that these LUTs take care of that and they kind of dial it in and give you a better, more natural looking starting point than what you would get with the Canon official LUTs. Thank you so much for watching.